YouTube, Shannon Lowe here from Low Vision. Today I'll be posting our first construction tutorial and it will be on how to rip up carpet and tack strips. Um, the second video will then show how to take off those baseboards and do it in such a way, fingers crossed, we don't break them and we can reuse them um, after placing down the laminate that we're going to be have putting down. So, um, hope you enjoy. Here goes carpet and tack strips. And then please go on to the next video if you need to learn about how to take off those baseboards using non-visual tactics. And please, as always, post questions and ideas. I would love to show you other blind ways of doing things. So let's do some carpet. I do want to start with saying I am not a professional. I am very new to doing this. Um, not new to blindness, not new to teaching blindness, but new to um, pulling up carpets. So uh, please take all my advice with a grain of salt and use safety as much as possible <laughs> um, when doing this. All right, so speaking of safety, I'm going to start with safety gear that I am using. As you can see, I have a pair of protective glasses on. I may not have much use of my eyes, but I still don't want a sharp nail in there. And when we're ripping up tack strips, um, some things have gone flying, so not doing that. I also have on some basic use gloves. Um, you can go stronger if you want. Um, these have seemed to do me really well. Got them super cheap at Walmart. Um, and they have helped me uh, when picking up the tack strips and stuff. Next, we're gonna go over the tools I have, which I have conveniently all kept in my bucket. I find this method to be very helpful as I have a designated bucket simply to my tools. Tools that I am using today is a crowbar. Um, this is a nice special crowbar, as you can see, it's pretty flat on this end, very curvy on this end. Gives us a lot of force when pulling up those tack strips. I am using a basic hammer, any kind you want. A putty knife, I've actually found to be extremely helpful. A roll of duct tape, you can wrap up your carpet however you want, but duct tape is cheap and it's easy. Um, also, a box cutter. Um, replacing the blades as frequently as possible makes it a lot easier. Make sure, of course, that your knife is, or that your blade is in at all times while not using it. Um, and again, we're just gonna put them right back into our bucket because we want to keep track of our tools. So next, I'm gonna get my second bucket. And my second bucket, so I'm a patch here I'm already working on. And this is my tack strip bucket. All nails, all tack strips, all anything sharp that is gonna be thrown away goes in this bucket always, always, always. I probably should take it out to BMT pretty soon here. But we're keeping everything sharp in here. It's important as a low vision person and making sure that the tack strips are pushed away from my face. As you can see, I can handle these pretty well with the gloves. They still do have very sharp nails in them, so be cautious. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with ripping up the carpet. Um, I'm gonna try to hang this here so that those who are, have some sight can see what I'm doing but I'm gonna to try to verbally describe this as best I can. So, I suppose I do need my tools then, huh? So I'm gonna cheat and get some of my tools out so that I can use this for holding up my camera. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get to work. Easiest way that I found to do these ramps, from the corners and then head towards the door. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife, or our box cutter, whatever knife you're using. There are some specialty knives you can get. I'm just gonna get the box cutter because it's what I had. Um, I am down on my hands and knees and I am going out uh, probably two feet or so, maybe a little further. The exact length that you go out really doesn't matter. 
So I'm gonna move this back in hopes of you guys getting a good view. I don't know how well we're gonna do here. All right, and we're going to push in hard and just cut right through that carpet. Straight lines. Thank you for those who have given me tips on the Blind Parent Alliance. Don't matter. And then I'm gonna cut another strip. We're just doing a small cut all the way to the wall to get an idea of what we're doing here. Now from this point, I should be able to pull up my carpet. In theory, if I had a really nice sharp knife, ooh, seemed to do the trick. It should also cut through the pad underneath. So you're gonna find at the walls that you have your tack strips there. So we're being careful along our walls. And we're just kind of giving this all a tug to make sure that we cut through all the way. Um, I cut all the way to oh, just a couple of feet down here. And it seems that I missed a piece. So I'm gonna take my box cutter, cut that small little piece so I have a free piece here. Now, again, Exacto knife, closed up, safety first. Put it back in a place you know or back in your bucket. Then we're going to get our duct tape. This can be a little harder with gloves. This is where I tend to cheat and take off my gloves. <laughs> Another side note while I'm doing this, shoes. I am wearing flip-flops, not the best things in the world, but they've got a couple of inches of thickness on the bottom. That's what you really are worried about. You're gonna step on nails, you're gonna step on tack strips. Several have already stuck in my shoes. They have not stuck in my feet. That's the important part. So make sure that you are wearing shoes because you are gonna get stuck at your feet walking around. Loose nails, loose tack strips, it happens. Um, things go flying, you don't know where they always land. You do not want to go to urgent care and get a tetanus shot. So we're just giving a good yank here on our carpet and on our pad underneath. You see this came loose, not a big deal. I'm actually just gonna throw that in my bucket just to get it out of my way. Sometimes it sticks a little bit to the carpet, not too hard. And we're just gonna give it a quick roll. So as you can see, I have now got a roll of carpet. For me, the duct tape has been easiest because it doesn't really matter how I do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna get this rolled around here. You also notice that I'm wearing long sleeves, longer pants. Um, I just generally try to cover yourself up as much as possible, less injury. And then cut my duct tape and stick to my glove because that's what it loves doing. There we go. We've got our carpet. I've got a roll away dumpster out front. Big suggestion for those of you who don't drive. It is awesome. Paid a very, well, very small, but a very reasonable amount to have them bring up a very large dumpster to the front of my house where all these are going in. And then they're gonna come pick it up, take it away. I don't have to worry about it. So that really helps us non-driving folks. Um, even those who do drive, it's convenient. Next. We're gonna work on our tack strips. I've already said that they are sharp. We have nails poking out the top already here, and they're a lot worse underneath. I'm taking my crowbar. There are a lot of ways you can do it. You can try to get it under the front. You can use a hammer and try to do it. What I found is easiest is to use the leverage of my back wall, put the crowbar in between the tack strip and the wall, bend it a little bit so that the fork type of our crowbar is pushing into the tack strip itself and just give that a little heave ho. As you can see the tack strip came right up. Very sharp though. So go straight in my bucket. I'm going to try to pull all this off here. Comes up nice and easily. I just keep repeating this motion. Okay. So if your tack strip gets too long, you can just break it. It's really not a big deal. It's garbage, it's going away. As a blind person, you can also miss some nails and you can either use your hand here with the gloves to feel if any nails are stuck in. You can also kind of run along your crowbar here um, and other parts where I've missed the nails, it's snagged it and taken it right up, okay? 
Obviously, we're going to want to sweep this up afterwards, just using our basic sweeping patterns to make sure that we've gotten everything. There are no nails, dirt, yuck on the floor. This is not, you know, the nicest stuff to sit on. Um, but once it's cleaned up and ready for our new flooring, it's going to be great. Okay, now we have our carpet and tack strips done. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next video where we show baseboards. If this is all you needed though, you know, feel free to uh, move on. We're gonna be posting up some other videos about sewing here next um, and possibly some more construction videos, maybe some painting as we run into the fun different problems of replacing flooring. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching Low Vision.